Self-honesty, is it possible to practice this skill? Um, I would say yes, it is <coughs> possible to practice this skill. Um, the best way to start would be through writing about yourself in a very specific way which you can learn about um, at destiny.org but basically uh, it's you know, I would recommend actually signing up for the course uh, at light.destinyiprocess.com uh, where you'll learn about the specific contents of your mind, your thoughts and feelings, emotions, imaginations, internal conversations, comparisons, beliefs, and then you learn how to write about them in a specific structured way where you take one point within your mind and write about it in a specific structured way and when you do that a lot every day for years that's how you can start developing the skill of self-honesty uh, <clears throat> so first you're applying it within self-forgiveness and what does that mean that means basically if you look at your mind as this giant program basically filled with trash code if you understand how computers work they're written but with codes that produce that make up programs that run on your computer but in your mind it's mostly garbage it's all these it's like just a constant conversation running right where you have your you know you, rea you get to work and that co-worker that always pisses you off is there and you start reacting to them and then you know it throws your whole day off and you're you know you're, you might find yourself having you know thinking about this person and, and going into this whole like internal world uh, just because you saw an individual in your external reality so that's the kind of stuff that goes on in your mind and self-forgiveness is taking one point in that program code in your mind and forgiving yourself for it which is deleting that code and so you're no longer participating in it uh, so you know the emotional reaction of annoyance on seeing your coworker you go in and you, you write self-forgiveness about that and the, you know everything that's related to it eventually through the self-writing you'll discover oh it's you know th that that emotion is triggered by that thought and that thought is related to this memory uh, that I have about you know my teacher that annoyed me in school and this coworker reminds me of that teacher, and so when I see the coworker, I go into this emotional reaction of annoyance, but really it's related to this memory that I have of this other person that annoyed me. And I just need to get rid of that whole program because it's not doing me any good to just be all uh, emotionally reactive to this person all the time. You know, I work with them, they're in my environment, it's important that I'm effective in my job, so better to not be 
you know, using the resources of my computer, which is myself, uh, running this program of, you know, hatred for my coworker, or, you know, just annoyance, and just, it's just taking up space that's unnecessary. So self-forgiveness done in self-honesty will remove that program, but you have to be very specific and very exact and very honest, brutally self-honest when you're doing this writing for it to be effective. And, it, you know, it'll take a while before you get good at it, but that's how you start with self-honesty. And I would say that in doing that, it is possible to become better at the skill of self-honesty. But you got to start, and you got to apply yourself consistently over time to develop this skill. And then, hopefully, the idea is that you get so good at it that you can just do it in real time, and you get in these situations and you see the thought come up when you're in the presence of a person and you can in and you just stop it right there in real time instead of going into the thought and that leads to the emotion and that leads, you know and then you're in this whole reaction and you're having this internal conversation in your head where you're you know having this whole dialogue about this person uh, which might not have anything to do with the actual interaction that you're having with them if you even allow yourself to speak to them at all, if you're not so, you know, possessed by your annoyance of them that you don't even allow yourself to have, like, a real relationship with them, but you just keep this, keep tabs, tabs on them in your mind, and you, and you, and every time you see them, you, it just triggers the same, you know, internal conversation and imagination emotions and real self-honesty would be would be to recognize that that sort of uh, reaction is not best for you as an individual so um, you know why uh, why uh, limit yourself to you know becoming possessed by your emotional reaction to this person um, if, if that's how you really feel about them then it's even sillier to really you know be all caught up in that sort of thing um, you know and maybe maybe you know what, what self honestly you'd catch yourself when you go into such a reaction and then um, you know who knows what arises out of there maybe Maybe, you know, what, what you thought, what your, what your, maybe your perception of this person, um, was, you know, wasn't actually based in something that, uh, is really true about them. Maybe when you stop reacting, uh, when you're self-honest with yourself and stop allowing yourself to go into a reaction towards this person maybe you, you know, you find out that, like, oh, that you have something in common and, uh, you know, you, have a, you actually can have a cool conversation with this person. Um, make a new friend, who knows? But you won't find out if you keep going into the same reaction towards them. And if you write about it enough, you'll see that in self-honesty, that's not what's best for you to do when you're in the presence of this person so I would say that with enough self-writing eventually you can be self-honest in real time and actually live self-honesty as who you are and um, it would it would seem you know that maybe that 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 would be another dimension of that skill that you could develop you <clears throat> just kind of allow yourself to express yourself in self-honesty in real situations in front of the person that's in front of you. So, 
Um, just a few thoughts on self-honesty and whether or not it's a skill we can develop. If you have an experience with this word self-honesty, uh, please share in the comments below and uh, let me know what your experience with it is. Let's uh, start a conversation. Thanks for watching.